working here with Don, doing some halter training with him, and I've got a tarp in the middle of the round corral. When I approach Don, if he moves, I stop. As long as he's not moving, I move forward and I extend my hand to let him know my intentions. And I always walk to the shoulder so it's less threatening. I'm going to put a come along hitch on him here. It's a lariat, goes over the nose once, twice, take that the first loop you put on and you're going to go behind the ears there, give yourself a little slack, go right ear, left ear, snug everything up, you want the corner of the rope, the bend of the rope right at the corner of the mouth right there, uh, a couple inches up from the nose. So with Don, I don't have to put a lot of pressure here, I'm not even really putting any pressure on him at all, if you see the rope is slack, but I still put it behind my back just in case um, he decides to really bolt because I want to keep him right here, I don't want him running around and, and pulling me all over the place, so that's why as a precaution I just put it behind my back here. But when I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep him, I want him to cross at the same spot every time. I don't want the donkey to go around the tarp because he'll try to do that. So we kept working, I kept taking him back to the spot where I want him to cross and turn him around. Because in the donkey's mind, is that, well, I can go around it if that's what you want me to do. I'll just go around it. But uh, we want him to go across in this time, this spot here. Did really good. This, this took me about maybe, maybe 10 minutes to get him to this point right here. This is a really smart donkey. He's gonna make somebody a good pack out for sure. This was a couple days later, our first time loading in a trailer. This is his very first time ever getting close to the trailer. He did way better than I thought it was going to do. Pretty incredible, this donkey is so smart. And he's, he's really trying to, to do what I want him to do. That's, that's the key and if you do, um, if you really focus on holder training and get them respecting the holder, this is the kind of results you can get. And there's, I'm not putting, I'm barely putting any pressure on them at all. All I'm doing is just letting you know that I've got the holder and I'm just bumping the rope a little bit. That's all it's taken for him to do this. And I'm allowing to get in and out a few times. I'll reposition the camera, came back over, did it again, and look at that. Jumped right in. I got him inside and I scratched his neck, it's hard to see inside there, but I scratched his neck, told him good boy, um, and turned him around. Uh, with a donkey, um, I'll, I'll teach him later to load without me getting in the trailer, but right now it's okay to do that, um, especially with one donkey in there. When you get multiple donkeys inside a trailer, it can get a little more sketchy, so you want to try to load them without having to get in with them if you can. Um, we did this, I probably loaded him maybe six or eight times. And he did good every time. Here, I'm just all I did right now is just holding the rope. I wasn't even pulling on it just to see if he'll get in. Did a good job. Now, taking him out, uh, what they did this time is I gave him some slack of the rope because I don't want him jumping out. Um, it can get the, the wrangler hurt if, the, if you open the gate and the donkey jumps out and knocks you down. So, I want him to come out slowly when I want him to. So, what I did was I just gave him a little slack here, as you can see, in the rope. Um, I'm just gesturing. I mean, the, the donkey kind of understands what I'm wanting to do. He's still a bit nervous about jumping out. That's part of the problem now, but he'll get better. But I'm just giving him a little, little bump on the rope, gesturing with my hand. He's looking right where I'm pointing, so he knows exactly what I want him to do. This donkey's pretty smart, I tell you. There he goes, jumps right out. Good boy, and he didn't try to take off, so that's good. That's what I want. Then here, after I got him in, in there we, a few more times, um, I just took the rope off while I was in there. And I stopped him. I didn't want him to get out. Put my hand up. Once he was standing there relaxed, I didn't think he was going to jump out. And then I'm going to back up here and let him come out on his own. Still gestured for him to come out, but he's, he's not quite there yet. He, he'll get better. Later on, we'll start working with him. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll get him to load without me getting in the trailer with him. Um, and I'll show you that later when we, when we work on that, that part of it. But he was uh, pretty content to stand in there. Uh, he decided he just wanted to kind of look around and, uh, and hang out in there for a little while. I was pretty happy. It's a good donkey. I think he stayed in there for 
I don't know, long enough for me to send a text message and <laughs> hang out here for a few minutes. I think he was in there maybe, I don't know, two or three minutes we stood there. I just let him take his time whenever he's ready to come out. <laughs> it's a good donkey right here. He's, he's let me catch him in a round pen. Um, he's doing good on the halter. Where we've worked with his feet a little bit as well, picking his feet up. He's a little funny about his rear end, but he'll get over that too. But uh, this is going to be a really good donkey here. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care now.